So, how do you close down a UK limited company? We know that there are over 500,000 companies closed down each year. And there's probably even more dormant companies that you don't need and should be closed down. So, how do you do it in a practical way? Well, this video will do exactly that. Go check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimized Accountants and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can close down a limited company but what things you need to consider before doing so. As I said from the outset, 500,000 companies more are being closed down in the UK each year and we're probably already at that point in 2022 because of the recession fears. But how do you do it and what things do you need to look at? So first of all, what we need to look at is the process of closing down a UK company. We'll get into the nuts and dregs of the process steps, but let's have a look at what you need to think about. You need to make a payment of £10, not a lot of money to be fair, to close down a company. That's a fee that you pay to company's house. You need a DSO1 form, which you can obtain from the company's house or you can do it online and i'll give you the url in the description box below i'll also try and put a link above me as well your net assets needs to be less than twenty five thousand pounds why do you need that well if your net assets are more than twenty five thousand pounds and you have creditors then you possibly will have to go through some sort of liquidation process which can be quite costly. I have seen prices go from 5,000 to 100,000 for liquidation. So you do need to know, well, I've got more than 25,000. Can I get it down to less than 25,000 so I can close down the company? The answer is yes. Make sure you speak to a, a tax specialist for limited companies and dissolutions. We can certainly help you with that. And a 30 minute tax call will, will help you with that process. So there you go, people will close down a limited company for many reasons. And what you need to think about here, I'm just gonna to touch on that. People might be fearing the recession. People may have a, a company that had a great idea, never really took off, and then therefore it just lingered as a dormant company. And someone would have said to them, you don't need it, close it down. People think having a UK limited company sitting there as dormant is good for reputation. Quite opposite, really. You're not saying you've done anything in that company, therefore it's just been lingering. That doesn't say too much about your reputation. So, you know, closing down a company is necessary for many people. Now, as it says there, this is coming from Companies House website. The link again is in the video description box below. So please feel free to get that, uh, but I want to take you through the form itself. So as I said there, you need a DSO1 form and that is to strike it off. Um, warning to all interested parties, this is an important notice and should not be ignored. I want to take my time over this. The company named has applied to the registrar to be struck off. So it is out there in the public media that this company that you wish to close down will be dissolved. Now, companies has, has to give notice that this company will be dissolved to interested parties. And that's what this is all about. So let's kick off then, what do you need to have? So your company number, which you should have, that's your company reference number from company's house. So you should be able to have that. And then your full address, that's a uh, full company name in full, should include the word limited or LTD, depending on what you have chosen. Make sure you get that right. You can compare what you think it is against what's already on company's house about your company. But in basic details, your name, your surname, sign it, put the signature date. It cannot be backdated, so don't think you can backdate a dissolution. No, you cannot. It needs to be in a future date, so make sure you put that on place. Whilst we're going through this, if you're nervous, you're uncertain about this process, feel free to look at that code um, to, look, to book a tax consultation with us at Optimized Accountants, and we'll help guide you through the dissolution of your limited company step by step so you can feel confident and comfortable with the approach. You must send copies of all applications to notifiable parties and creditors. Creditors, if you've got a bounce back loan, for instance, you need to say to them, hey, look, I'm thinking about closing down the company. 
Now, we know that there are guarantees in place from the government for the bounce back loan, but you still have to notify them. If you have suppliers that you owe money to, you have to notify them as well. You must send copies to anyone who becomes not to notifiable uh, party within seven days of this taking place. And now you can pause this, by the way, but it does talk about failure to notify interested party is an offence, which is punishable by up to 12 months in prison. Now, I know people out there say, well, how will they check? Well, this is an official documentation. And if you're saying I'm closing down the company to get out of my debts and liabilities, actually, you could face prison. So do make sure that you take your time and get this right. Completing a DSO one form yourself online is dead easy, but it's also dead easy to get it wrong. Um, so be careful. As I mentioned, there is a fee of £10 to strike off your company. You can do that online or indeed post it. Often we would say do it online, but the, if you want to send your DSO one form, you can send it to this address. So you might want to just pause this video and get the address for yourself. Um, checklist. In your checklist, you will have to say to them, the company name and number matches the public register. Again, it's so important when you're completing these forms that not just the number is correct, but the full name as well. We have seen come back from company's house where someone's put limited instead of LTD because that is two separate companies and you're trying to close down someone else's company, which they're not going to be too happy about. So you have to be take, take care. The correct number of uh, current directors have signed and dated the form. So you've got two directors, both have to sign it. Uh, but it does say here, um, one director, if there is only one director, both if there are two. So please do note that you have to do that. The majority, if there are more than two out of six, four directors must sign. So again, if you have a dispute with a director, you need to have that resolved and you probably still need to have them sign this, uh, this document. Continue with the checklist. What else do you need to think about? You have included a printed name and date and signatures. So you not only just need to put your date in there, you sign it, but check that your signature is illegible and in black is preferable. You have included a continuous sheet. Not many people will do that. And you have included the correct fee. Again, pretty self-explanatory.